and welcome to my channel. If you like DIYs, farmhouse decor, upcycling, and more, you've come to the right place. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hi everyone, Janie here, and last week I shared a little Dollar Tree haul with you, and it was the first time I'd been to a Dollar Tree in over a year, and I was kind of bummed because some of the things I was looking for, they didn't have, and I didn't think I'd get to go back again so soon. But guess what? My hubby took me back there this week and they had some new stuff, including one of the things I was trying to find last time. So this time I have a mega haul to share with you and I'll try to buzz through it all really quickly, but I wanna make sure that you don't miss any of the cool stuff. Okay, I'm gonna start off with the pumpkins and the fall themed things because it's that time of year. And I'm gonna start off with this pumpkin right here that is a hanging wall plaque and it has a really cool little metal leaf on it that can be used for so many things. But I got this because I wanted to show you that even though when I made this, which I just did this video this past Saturday if you missed it, um, when I did this I told you that I'd gotten this wooden pumpkin from the Dollar Tree and I didn't know if they had them anymore. And they don't have the exact same one, but they do have these and this will work just as good. So if you missed that video, I will have it linked on the screen here at the end of this video so you don't miss it. Okay, let me set that aside and I'm gonna jump right over to these window clings. Those are awesome. I know a lot of crafters are using these and I saw this and I thought, oh, I'm sure I can come up with something to use these on besides my window. <laughs> so I'm going to come up with a craft for something on here sometime in the near future. And those are just really awesome. Set that aside and... Let's see, last time I got something similar to these. Um, this is a garland that is five feet long. And I just love all the fall leaves on it. I think it's really pretty. And again, I have an idea for this as well, but I'm not gonna tell you. <laughs> but it has possibilities. Okay, I will tell you. I'm thinking about making a wreath. So you'll see if I, if I successfully do that. And here are some more leaves and there's all kinds in there. I thought those would be good to add to any project, just like I added some leaves to this. So these will come in handy for a few things. And let me set this aside for a second here so it doesn't fall over. But here is another pumpkin that is just totally plain, so you can do whatever you want. And I love the dimension. It has all these layers. So this looks like a painting project to me, but I really like that, so I had to get that. Um, this one has possibilities, but staying this bright orange is not one of those possibilities. But this is styrofoam, and um, one of the things that I've seen done to it that I am not going to be doing is somebody put flowers all over it and just stuck them into it, and it looked really cool, but I'm gonna have to come up with an idea of my own for that. And this one too, it was a cute little pumpkin. I'll come up with an idea for that. I might just, you know, paint it and add it to um, some home decor I, I already have going on. And now I'm gonna bring in uh, these. So these cute little pumpkins that they also have in orange, but I didn't want them in orange, but they come with these wires on the back. That makes it perfect to add to other projects, including wreaths. And the same with these, these have little clips on the back. So let me see if I can clip one here for you and pull it off. You know, it'd be better starting maybe at the one on the bottom. Let's see. Yep, I'm gonna have to tear this to get that off. Hold on a second. There we go. So, has a little clip on the back and you can attach these to all kinds of projects. And these pumpkins have little skewers or sticks sticking out of them. You could probably cut them off if you needed to, but again, perfect for, you know, poking into things. So all of these things have really nice backs that can be used for adding them to other projects, including a wreath. Okay, I think that takes care of the pumpkin and Paul, Paul fall themed things. I can't even talk straight. 
So these are some pedestals that they had, and they had a variety with different different shapes or designs. And I love this. I just thought this was absolutely beautiful. This is really heavy and sturdy. And I got two of them. And these were sitting nearby. And I thought, first when I saw these, which that's dirty, um, when I first saw these, I thought, oh, I bet you I can do something with those. I like that. And so I was going to get those. Then I saw these. Well, it's pretty self-explanatory, but we'll see what I actually end up doing with these. And I picked up these. So these are easel chalkboards. There's the chalk that comes with it. It's an easel stand, and so you can write whatever you want on these. So a lot of cute possibilities with them just the way they are. But I have other ideas, so I don't much care that it's a chalkboard. <laughs> but um, I got three of these. Three is my favorite number, so I got three of those. And then I saw these, so these, you know, go landscape direction, these go portrait direction. And these are erase boards, dry erase boards, but again, that's not my plan, but yet they would be really cool for that, you know, and you can write things on there. You can write the menu for the day on there or a special message to somebody and just change it up every day, but that's not my plan either. <laughs> I have all kinds of plans and there's cool things these can be used for. So whether you're a crafter that wants to alter these into something else or whether you're just looking for something really cool that, you know, you can use for many purposes, you know, even, um, you know, at weddings or birthdays or like I said, just every day leaving cool, cute messages on. These are awesome. And yes, I got three of those as well. And sticking with the number three, I got three of these and three of those. And um, you actually saw one of these in my last haul. I think I had that one and this one. And I said that I had some plans for this, and I do, but I liked it so much, and my husband liked my plan so much, he told me I better get some more. So <laughs> while we were there, I got three more of those and three more of these, and I discovered that these came in different colors. And so we have a darker pink, a paler pink, and a black. And I'm not sure when you will see this project because it's not fall themed, but you will be seeing something with these. Okay, now this is what I was looking for last time I was there. This is the tumbling tower blocks. And these are so awesome. There's 72 in a box. And they look like this. And you're thinking, what in the world are you going to do with those? Well, a lot of you have been around the crafters channels enough to see plenty of ideas. Here's just one example of something that I made a while back in a video. And I use those blocks to make these shelves that are on here. So they come in handy for a lot of things and I really love them. And when I was there, they had no idea what I was talking about when I asked for these. They didn't have any because we searched and searched and searched. But this last time, they had them and I bought everything they had on the shelf. Yes, I'm crazy. But I know whether it's this year or 10 years from now, I'll be using them all. So not a problem. You should definitely check them out. I mean, what a steal for a dollar. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, just so you know, I'm saving the best for last, and this is not the best, so you're just going to have to keep watching, okay? So this is just some tissue paper that I picked up. Um, you will see an upcoming video where I'm going to be using tissue paper, and I'm not going to tell you how. You're going to have to watch that video and find out for yourself, because I think you're going to love it. But I also got this tissue paper, it's a really pretty um, navy blue, and um, I like, you know, decoupaging with tissue paper as well as with napkins, and I just thought that this is kind of a cool change from all the girly stuff that I do. This might be more on the masculine side, but I really like it. So some tissue paper, you can check. They have all kinds of different patterns. You may find, you know, other things that you like other than what I got, but 
keep watching for that video I'm telling you about because you're going to want to go pick up some of this white tissue paper. And also, I grabbed these styrofoam balls, just one package of each here. Do I know what I'm going to do with them? No clue whatsoever, but I know they'll come in handy. Okay, now you're about to see what I think is the best part of my haul, or at least for me, it was the best. In fact, just like with the tumbling tower blocks, I bought all of these that they had, and I'm also going to go to a dollartree.com and order a case. And I have all kinds of ideas in my head, like tons of ideas. Don't know when I'm going to be doing them, but here we go. The unveiling. I am totally into palettes. I love them, like full-size palettes. Check these out. These are so stinking cute. Oh my gosh, the possibilities. Ah, I love these little palettes. They are just the cutest thing ever. And these, look at these. Oh my gosh, so many ideas running through my head. And, you know, my ideas don't involve using just one. It involves using more, which is why I need to order a case because I'm not just going to make something for the video. I'm going to be making a lot of what I'm making, probably for gifts and stuff. So, these are awesome. These are palettes. I don't know if your Dollar Tree has them, but they have them at dollartree.com. So no matter what, you will be able to find these. Okay, well that was my mega Dollar Tree haul. And be sure to check out your local Dollar Tree and see what they have. And also keep watching my channel to see what I might be making with some of these things. Happy crafting everyone. Bye bye. If you like this video, I hope you give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, I hope you consider that too. And if you do, be sure to click the little bell next to the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos or giveaways. And I hope you stop by Crafters Castle on Facebook and also Crafters Castle Challenge Blog to enter your creations.